In this video, I'd like to talk about word problems involving volume. And specifically, we're going to look at the volume of rectangular prisms, or in other words, the volume of boxes. So for this example problem, I bought a box from the post office that has a volume of 24 cubic centimeters. So which of the following could be the dimensions of my box? And we have to choose all the answers that apply. So let's first start by reminding ourselves how to find the volume of a rectangular prism or some type of box. So if we have a rectangular prism, and let's say that this prism has, for the height, we can just call that H, for the width, let's call that W, and it has a length of L. The volume of this rectangular prism is just the product of these three dimensions. The length multiplied by the width multiplied by the height. And volume, remember, will have cubic units since each of these will have units of centimeters and we would be multiplying centimeters three different times so you get centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters. Or the other way to look at this is that we're essentially splitting up this shape into a bunch of unit cubes. So I'm not gonna draw this perfectly to scale, but imagine this corner piece would have a cube essentially that we can cut out or we can have this shape decomposed into many of these cubes where these cubes have length and height and width all equal to one. So this is a unit cube, which has a volume of one cubic centimeter and we would just add up how many of those we have in our entire shape. So the way to approach this problem is to apply the formula. And we are told that the volume of our box is 24 cubic centimeters. And again, the way to get this volume is to multiply the three dimensions. So let's apply that for each of these scenarios. We have the length, let me label these, so this is the length, this is the width, W, and this is the height, H. So multiplying these together, our volume would be 2 times 2 times 6, and of course we'd want to consider units too, but we can put that at the end. So this is 4 times 6, which is 24, and we'd have cubic centimeters. So it looks like these dimensions of the box actually make sense since we need a volume of 24 cubic centimeters. We can apply it here. This is the length, the width, and the height. So this volume would be eight multiplied by one, multiplied by three, and eight times three. This is also 24 cubic centimeters. So that would be correct as well. And for this one, this is our length, our width, and our height. So we multiply those together. We get 10 times four times 10. And 10 times 10 is 100 times 4. This would be 400 cubic centimeters. So this box would be considerably bigger than what we need. So choice C would not be correct here. In fact, you can notice this is an answer choice because this is a common mistake. Instead of multiplying the lengths, you would add these lengths to get 24. But volume is a process of multiplication of the different dimensions, or at least for rectangular prisms and for other similar shapes. You end up dealing with a lot of multiplication, not addition. So let's look at one more example problem. And we have to build a box for my scouting project with a volume of 36 cubic centimeters. So we're told our volume, that is 36 cubic centimeters. And we're told the dimensions or some of the dimensions of the box. So the box is six centimeters long and two centimeters wide. So we know the volume formula is the length multiplied by the width multiplied by the height. And we're told in this case that the length L is six centimeters. The width W is two centimeters and we need to find the height since we want to know how high that the box should be built. So we know V, we know L and W, and so we can plug all these in and then figure out what H would have to be. So let's do that. We have that the volume is 36 cubic centimeters. 
This is equal to the length, six centimeters, multiplied by the width, which is two centimeters, multiplied by the height. And now we can just solve this. And if you want, you can ignore the units while you're working, but if you want to put the units in, it does make sense. So this is going to be 12. So we get 36 cubic centimeters and six times two is 12 and centimeters times centimeters, that's square centimeters. And let's divide each side by 12 so that we can get H by itself. And in fact, let's divide by 12 square centimeters. So in doing so, we have 36 divided by 12, which is three and cubic centimeters divided by square centimeters, we just be left with centimeters. Since if you think about it, you have centimeters times centimeters times centimeters, and in the bottom you have centimeters times centimeters. So two of those will pair up and cancel out. Since with units, just like numbers, centimeters divided by centimeters is just one. So, or at least that's a way to look at this that helps the units actually make sense. So on the left, we get three centimeters and something divided by itself, that's one. So this is equal to our height, which is H in this case. So in conclusion, how high should the box be built? It should be built three centimeters high.